So everyone knows DeepSeek by now, and there's a potential for DeepSeek to be dethroned. Meet Quen Chat, arguably faster, smarter, and capable of generating images and videos. On the chatbot leaderboard, it's hanging right up there with the biggest names, even ranking above DeepSeek V3. Developed by Alibaba, they released their initial Quen model in April 2023, and they followed up in June 2024 with Quen 2. Then this January, they released Quen 2.5 Max, claiming it could surpass GPT-40, DeepSeek, and other top models. Apparently, dominating the world of online shopping wasn't enough of a challenge for Alibaba, but hey, who am I to judge, right? After all, they are contributing to open source and offering their models to use for free. All right, let's see it in action now, and then we will check out the image and video generation. I put DeepSeek's V3 and R1 model side by side with Quen's 2.5 Max and its QWQ reasoning model. Gave them a simple pattern recognition problem and timed how fast they got to the solution. Quen's 2.5 Max model took around 13 seconds, the V3 model took 17 seconds, and the QWQ model took 17 seconds. But the R1 model took 1 minute and 5 seconds. It's pretty clear that Quen's got the speed advantage over DeepSeek. Sure, this was just one quick test for demonstration, but you can definitely feel that Quen's faster. Then beyond speed, Quen can do more than the current DeepSeek model. For example, Quen offers artifacts similar to Claude Chat. You can run code right in the chat interface and see the outputs in real time. There's also web search, which isn't anything special anymore, but here's where it gets interesting. Image generation and video generation. Just pick an aspect ratio and tell it what you want to see. We'll test those out in a minute. But first, let me walk you through Quen's available models. First up are the general purpose language models, Plus, Max, and Turbo. These handle everything from writing and coding to answering questions and working in different languages. The main difference between them is how much text they can handle at once. The Turbo model can work with 1 million tokens, which is massive. I'll show you that in action in a bit. The Plus model handles 131,000 tokens, putting it ahead of most other AIs. The Max works with 32,000 tokens. It's slower and needs more computing power, but it's the best at handling complex reasoning, coding, and problem solving. Then you've got the specialized models for coding, math, and reasoning. There's the Instruct One, the Coder Plus, and the QWQ Reasoning Model. These are specifically built to excel at programming and tackling complex math problems. For multimodal models, there's the QVQ model. Not QWQ, but QVQ and the VL model. These can handle both text and images, meaning they can look at pictures, answer questions about them, or describe what they're seeing. Here's a cool feature. You can run multiple models at the same time. Just pick the models you want to compare, type in your prompt, and watch them all generate responses side by side. The Turbo naturally finishes first, with Max and Pro coming in pretty much neck and neck. But here's the really interesting part. You can pick the response you like best and hit this icon in the bottom corner to merge all the results into your favorite one. What happens is the model you picked, Turbo in this case, looks at all the other outputs and combines the best parts from each into one super detailed final answer. This is super useful since different models might tackle the same question in different ways. Maybe one's quick but misses some details, while another's slower but more thorough. Merging them gives you the best of everything. All right, let's test the Turbo Models context window by uploading this JavaScript book and asking for the chapter's outline. I'm pretty excited about this since I love using AI to work through books. And wow, look at all these concepts it's listing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this model for concept extraction. This is where that million token context window really shines. It can process and analyze entire books in one go, while keeping track of all the connections between concepts. All right, let's try out Quen's artifacts. I wanna see how it handles creating a simple HTML and CSS clone of YouTube. I'm not expecting much here, we'll see what happens. Yeah, well, it's something. Wait, actually, I should compare this with Claude's artifacts. Nah, Claude is definitely better at coding, at least in this situation. This at least looks somewhat YouTube-ish, but hey, Quen is free to use and it can only get better from here. Next, time to check out the image generation. Let's make a few images and see what we get. A 1-1 aspect ratio should work fine. Here's my prompt. A cat wearing a wizard robe, casting spells with a glowing staff in a floating city. Took 51 seconds to generate, but wow, the results are actually pretty good. Okay, so our wizard cat has two tails, but the overall look is great. Just look at that little magician casting spells like a pro. Let's see how GPT's image generation compares. GPT only took 11 seconds. Seconds. And honestly, it's not bad, but I'm still leaning toward Quen's version. Let's try another. A baby turtle wearing sunglasses, relaxing on a beach chair with a tiny umbrella drink. Just check out this little guy living his best life. Sure, one leg's a bit wonky, but the result is awesome. I'm jealous of this turtle's vacation vibe. As for GPT's version, well, you be the judge. Drop a comment below. But our Quen turtle? Perfect 10. Absolutely love it. All right, one more because I'm having too much fun. A dog driving a convertible car, wearing a scarf and goggles, racing through the desert. And the results are pretty cool, though there's a random human hand holding something other than the wheel. GPT's version isn't bad either. It's got that typical GPT dolly look that feels a bit old school, 
but it works. But hey, let me know what you think about these results in the comments. Personally, I'm giving the crown to the cool turtle. Now for the part I've been really looking forward to, video generation, here's what I'm asking it to make. A robot doing a funny dance in a room with colorful LED lights. Let's see how long this takes and check out the quality. 21 minutes later, and we've got our video. The results are actually really good. There's a bit of morphing here and there, but overall, it looks awesome. Let me show you some other videos I made. Just check out this dog surfing like a pro, and the following ones are great as well. Since it's free, you really can't complain about the quality. It's almost as good as other video generators out there. The only catch is you're limited to five videos per day, but honestly, that's still pretty generous for a free tool. It's fun, it's free, definitely worth giving it a shot. So, Quen is turning out to be quite the powerhouse in AI tools, bringing some serious competition to the table with its speed and variety of features. If you found this overview helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video!